A historic Glasgow building that was once the flagship for the Watch Every Woman Wants department chain is to be demolished. The Category B listed Victorian property that was a must for budget shoppers, revolutionising the city's fashion scene, before the likes of Primark and Matalan, will come down this weekend to be replaced by a modern office block. Founded in 1971, the cut price clothing chain was a staple on Argyle Street and the brainchild of retail entrepreneur Vera Weisfeld and her husband Gerald. Known as What Everys, it grew to have more than 130 stores throughout the UK and the prime Argyle Street outlet. At its peak, in 1989, the chain had a turnover of £100 million, before the business empire was sold in 1990 for £50 million by the couple. It was closed in 2003 following a period of administration. At least 3,000 new jobs were to be created as a result of the development which aims to support the Argyle Street Avenues project. Roads around the site will be closed from 8 p.m. on Friday until 6 a.m. on Monday. Delays are expected until Monday morning when the roads reopen. The developers, Osborne & Co., said in its proposals for the site, We have been advised, independently, by conservation specialists that it is not worthwhile or possible to repair this building due to the condition of its facade and architectural significance. The new £95 million development was expected to accommodate up to 4,000 people. Director Connor Osborne said the new development would deliver a meaningful boost to the local economy. He said, it will provide a competitive edge for the city, giving Glasgow a high-caliber development to attract blue-chip occupiers, and demonstrate the city is ready to support inward investment. A spokesman for Historic Environment Scotland said, we were involved in detailed discussions about the redevelopment of the site and provided advice to Glasgow City Council. Following careful consideration, we accepted the case put forward that the repair of the B-listed building at 335-45 to Argyle Street was not economically viable. We also concluded that the demolition of the adjacent C-listed buildings did not raise such issues that we should object. But Alistair McCusker, treasurer of the Blitzwood and Broomillaw Community Council, previously raised concerns on behalf of concerned residents. He said, we will be losing a historic building. There are about 1,000 people living in that area. We are concerned about the scale of the building. To plonk a building of that scale in this area just doesn't feel right. I don't think the sandstone C-listed building is dangerous and to remove an old building and replace it with something of this design will ruin the ethos of the area. The people who live in this area need to be taken into consideration but there has been no for more on this story, visit the news article link.